Hi everyone, welcome to In Stitches with Mary. Today I want to show you a, 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 a fun little ornament to do that requires no sewing machine. This is all, actually you don't even need a needle and thread. It's all pins and fabric and a styrofoam ball. I call this the No Sew Folded Star Ornament and I want to show you how to put this together. To make the folded star ornament, you are going to need three inch squares of fabric. I've chosen three different colors. You will need eight for your center of your folded star ornament, whatever that might be. And you're, cause you're gonna use four on the front and four on the back. And then you're gonna need 16 of your other two colors. And along with that, pick out a two inch square that matches whatever you're using in the center of your ornament. I've decided I'm going to use the green for my center and then I'm going to use white and then I'm going to use this ivy um, fabric right here. To, you're also going to need a three inch styrofoam ball and a thimble because you're going to be using a lot of straight pins. And when I say straight pins, you want to use those old fashioned dressmaker pins that have a flat head to them. We don't want to see this pin, but you're going to be using a lot of them like over 200. So make sure you get uh, plenty of straight pins and just a real short one. Don't get a real long pin because you're going to be pushing it in here. That's what you're going to need the thimble for at some point. So that I like to use this thimble here. Um, any thimble you might have at home is going to be fantastic. We need to find what I call the North Pole and the South Pole on our styrofoam ball. And to do that, I like to use a ribbon. So the first thing I did was to cut a ribbon that was actually the circumference. I went around the equator of my styrofoam ball and cut a ribbon that length. I took it off and I marked the center of that ribbon then. So fold it in half, mark the center, put it back on the ball. So mark where you start and then place a mark again where the center of that ribbon is. And so now I have my North Pole and my South Pole marked. It doesn't matter which, which way is which, it's just that when you go to do this, you want them to line up evenly on both sides. Now we're going to go ahead and place one of our smaller squares right over top of one of the poles, the North Pole, let's just say that. And then we're going to take our first piece and we need to find the center of that. And one way to do that is to just go ahead and fold it in half, finger crease that, and fold it again so that you get the cross on that and you find your center. Another way that I think is just a little bit faster is I cut a piece of paper, just some scrap paper, and found the center with a pinhole. I can lay this right down on top and actually we're going to put our straight pin right through the center on the wrong side of our fabric. Okay, so now I can just pull that off. I've got my pin there and I'm going to place this right over top and into my North Pole. Okay, so I've got the pin going into the North Pole. I've got it kind of centered on this two inch square. And now I'm putting right sides together and I'm going to push this down in. The next step is we're going to fold that top square in half. You can see this. We're gonna fold that top square in half. And then with our pin as our center point, we're going to fold that top half fold in towards itself. So now we have created a, a triangular fold here and we're gonna place pins in. What I want you to do at this point is I've got my equator going around here. It, it's kind of, there's a little bit of a ridge on this styrofoam ball. So I'm gonna use that as a guide. And I'm going to make sure that my center line here on my fold of of this point is lining up with that. And then we're gonna take pins, 
four pins. So it takes five pins on each of our folded stars. And we're gonna pin those two corners down. I'll get my fingers out of the way here in a little bit and you can see what I've just done. So we're gonna bring that down to this corner point of the triangle. Get another pin, I thought I had enough out. And so that's the start of it. The reason I have the other fabric underneath is as we go to put the other four on, they're just gonna butt up against each other here, but should they not line completely, we're not gonna see the white of our styrofoam ball, okay? So the next one is we'll go ahead and find, got it started here, the center again. We're going to put that right back up here on that North Pole so you can see my point is going to go right down into the center, push it down. We're going to line this up so that as I go to fold this down, I'm squaring it up with my equator. And then I'm going to fold those corners back just like this. So my points are meeting. I can see this line is going to line up with this line and it's going to keep going around straight on my equator. And we will pin these in place and then do the other two sides. Let me get a couple in here. And we would pin those sides down and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on each of these two sides. I have one done I want to show you. So here is one that is completely done. Here was my first one, my second square, third and fourth. So that is all done. We're ready to put in our next layer. Now this took four squares. Our next layer is going to take 16. And I'm gonna show you where you're gonna start with that. So now that we have all four of our center green squares folded into our triangles, the next thing is to add our next layer. And I'm going to use the white I've already found the center of my square. We're gonna go back to that first folded triangle we put on, and we're gonna take our pin and come down about 3 eighths of an inch from that center point and push that straight down in and fold it exactly like we did the first one. Again, at this point, you want to make sure you're still lining following those folds of that line so that you create um, an equator going around here type of thing. And we're gonna pin that in place just like we did before. You're going to do another one on this side, this side, and this side. So that will look much like this. So now we have our middle four on. We have two of our next, or four of our next layer, okay? And there is going to be four more going into each of these. When you do that, again, you're gonna come down three eighths from the center. You're going to put that pin right into, right into the fold of that layer, fold it back. And again, I'm trying to create a straight line going across here as I keep going, um, and then pin that down. You'll repeat that for each of these spots. And then we're ready to put on our outer layer. So here you can see I have the middle layer completely done on this one. This is going to be a different one. I've got a red center in this one and that's okay. Um, you can vary those up. So my outer layer is going to go on the same way. We're gonna come down about 3 eighths of an inch and you are going to repeat this third layer just like you did the middle layer. So we're gonna start, and every time you put a new one on, so for instance, I have this one here, the next one's gonna go in the opposite direction. You're going to do the two sides, so we're gonna divide it into quadrants, four quadrants, and then you'll do each one in between. And that's the order that you would do. When, when you get all three layers on the North Pole, it will look similar to this, you'll get to turn it over and repeat that whole process on the South Pole. At that point, hopefully, 
your raw edges are now going to meet in the middle along your, your, uh, your equator. Pins are going to show only on that last layer, on that third layer. And this is where we want to add a decorative ribbon, or if you want to use um, self fabric, um, I have information on how to do that. I just uh, took a strip of fabric, folded it into thirds. This is going to end up about three inches wide or an inch wide. And then I pin this on and then folded this under and I got my hot glue out. You could pin it if you want to. I just used a little bit of hot glue and then pinned it until that glue dried. And at that point you would add a decorative ribbon, much like this. And pin or hot glue, if you wanted to put a, a bow on top, you could do that however you'd like to finish off um, your ornament. Um, use your own creativity. I wanted to show you one other idea. This was one of the first ones I did. And this is, this is actually a, a memory. This was using my dad's coveralls. Um, and I created that with some flannel fabric in the middle. Um, and that I gave to um, my brother and sister for Christmas one time. So this is just a memory ornament. There's a lot of different ways that these can be used and made, uh, but I just wanted to throw that one out there. So I hope you have enjoyed our No Sew Folded Star ornament. And if you're interested in the directions, they are available right here at Neil's. Um, just give us a call. These are $5 and we'll get you set up. Thank you for joining me.